Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. With the release of Flux Context, image editing was become so easy since it allows you to do style change, character consistency, object removal, adding object, face swapping, and many other use cases. However, the obtained result doesn't always seem at the top. So to fix that, I've come with a new custom workflow that allows you, based on the result of Flux Context, to fine tune your images and obtain high resolution results. In addition to that, the generated results will need only 8 steps in order to get the job done. So with this custom workflow, you will uh, obtain uh, both the boost in uh, speed and quality. And without further ado, let's dive into tutorial. Okay, so on this tutorial, I will cover up the use case of uh, Flux Context. But I will also show you how you can fine tune your results and upscale it using only 8 steps. I will not cover the installation part since I already done it with this previous video tutorial. So if you want to know how you can use Flux Context uh, model, you can just watch my previous tutorial. Okay, when you download my workflow, just uh, grab it here and it will load automatically everything for you. This workflow is a modification based on the previous workflow where we had uh, the Flux uh, Context main workflow. Then I try to do some modification in order to get a speed boost performance and also a better quality at the, at the end. To do that, I implemented the two main uh, groups which are situated here. We have the Flux model and the Flux sampling group that are used for uh, fine tuning. As you can see here, I am using the GGUF loader for the Flux light version. You can use any other uh, GGUF version of Flux. We have the load uh, the LoRa model where I am using the Hyper LoRa in order to reduce the used steps. And if you see here on the basic scheduler, we have uh, only eight steps and the denoise value is set to 0.4. You can try to change this value between 0.3 and 0.5 according to your needs, but don't increase it to one. Otherwise it will change completely the results of your uh, images. Then here, we have the sampler custom advance where the results is gonna be generated. I also added this prompt styler here. It will dramatically increase your uh, results using this uh, styler selector. As you can see, we have different style here. All you need to do is check here if you wanna, for example, set to anim style. For my case, I am using the focus enhance and the focus sharp. And if you can't find this uh, prompt here, all you have to do is go to manager and install missing custom nodes. This way you will be able to use it more easily. So what this style selector do is it's gonna generate an auto prompt using a Florence 2 model here. Then this auto prompt is gonna be uh, changed according to your style. For example, here we have the focus enhance and the focus sharp. After that, it's gonna be implemented directly into this clip talk text encode. So this way you will guarantee that you have uh, more details and more enhancement in your results, which is related to your prompt uh, quality. You can also use other Flux uh, GGWeb version that will give you different results. So it is gonna depend on what you have on your GGWeb uh, folder. Okay. The other group that I want to talk about is the upscaling group. Here, as you can see, I am also using a key sampler for upscaling uh, at the steps of 8 and CFG of 1. The sampler name is set to DPM++ SDA and the scheduler is set to Keras. The denoise value also is set to very low value where you can ch uh, balance between 0.2 and 0.3 in order to get uh, good results. However, for the model, I am using an SDXL Lightning model. The main reason behind that is the Lightning model is very fast and it can give you a good results. I managed to obtain high resolution uh, images at only uh, 16 seconds with my RTX 3066 gigabyte of VRAM. If you have a better graphic card, you will end up with the uh, uh, the same results or maybe better in a short amount of time. I also wanted to grab your attention here on the Flux Context model. As you can see, I am using the Flux Development Context FP8 with the weight type of uh, FP8 fast. Uh, I am not using the GGUF for this Flux Context since it gives me uh, bad results, even if I am using the GGUF Q6 or the Q8. I don't know why, maybe uh, I need some. Uh, to do some update uh, 
on my software here. But this flux context give me the best results and also it was faster compared to GGUF version. So I strongly suggest you to use this flux uh, dev model. But if you have a lower VRAM than 6 GB, you can try to use the GGUF version. And the most interesting part here is, uh, is that I was able to use the LoRa model of Flux with this Flux context. This model is the Hyper LoRa Flux, which was released in a while now. I set the strength to 1, and uh, with this model, I was able to reduce the necessary steps for the Flux context in order for you to generate the first image. So, as you can see, I am using 8 steps. CFG is set to 1. Sampler, I am using a, a Euler sampler and the scheduler it is set to simple the denoise value uh, here is set to 1 and i was uh, able to gain uh, two times the speed the boost uh, in my generation and the other thing that we can think about to increase speed is the tcash uh, nodes however when i add the tcash nodes the result was very bad so for now i don't suggest you to use it uh, with this uh, workflow and i am pretty sure that we will have other updates that will allow us to generate uh, more faster uh, results using this flux context model and the other uh, models here the, that we are using are the dual clip loader as always and the uh, load vae which are uh, very known now then do we have here the upload images the last time we spoke uh, about flux context i only show you how you can edit only one new image However, today we will try to see how we can use multiple image by just bypassing these nodes here. You can add two image and based on your prompt here, which is the main uh, key in order to obtain good results, you will try to combine images or add some additional details. And we will see that on this next section of uh, the results of this workflow. Okay, here we have our first results. As you can see, I put every results on this uh, main group here. We have the flux context results, the fine-tuned version using the flux models, and finally the upscaled version. So let's see the time first. As you can see here, I managed to generate uh, the first image with, on, with this amount of time, which is quite impressive, and it can be uh, more uh, faster uh, on the second use. We all know that uh, generating images uh, on the first use take time in order for the Comfy UI to load the, the necessary models. The same goes here for the upscaling. You can see that it is very fast. Now let's focus on uh, the prompting section. So what I wanted to do basically is to change the, the daytime of this image. To do that, I used this prompt change the lightning to daytime while preserving the image composition and details and it managed successfully to change the lighting of this image but if you zoom in closely here you can see that we have some pixelated results here and it is very bad however if you focus on the fine-tuned version you can see that the results is more clear and more sharpened that's why the fine-tuning step is very important for you if you want to create good quality of images and lastly, we have the upscaling version, which has uh, a better quality than uh, all uh, the previous one. To see more the comparison between them, I add this image compare, where we will compare between the fine-tuned version and the upscaled version. And as you can see, the results here is quite impressive. If we zoom in here, you can see that we have a better quality. And you can also add another... Uh, upscaling uh, steps here if you want a more resolution just let me show you this resolution which is practically a 2k resolution and it is gonna multiply it for uh, four times so you will end up with 8k results with good quality and also it will generate very fast using this load upscaling uh, model so this is will depend on your needs for now, I am only sticking to this resolution. I add a series of prompt for multiple use case of uh, this uh, flux context. So the next use case is going to be to colorize the image. To do that, let's add this prompt here. And let me load the proper image for this task. Good. We have here uh, this image. And I want to colorize uh, the lady over here. Give it an anime style look. And also I want to colorize this uh, zebra over here. To do that, I just ask uh, the Flux contact to try to colorize the image. The woman is wearing orange clothes and has brown skin, and the zebra has white and black colors. Let's add here anime style, 
let's add here to anim colors vibrant colors and do the same here okay now let's click run and see the result okay i have the final upscaled results and you can clearly see the main difference between them here we have a good quality of image and uh, also the color and the style is here and uh, the details of the first image and the composition is uh, maintained uh, perfectly and the next use case is gonna be to recreate the image and the first image which is gonna be this image here in the four angles front view angles back view angles 90 degree left and 90 degree right while keeping the image one details and proportion so that is the main prompt use it let's load the image okay i'm gonna use this image in order to get uh, multiple uh, angle view images and as you can see i also managed to generate this uh, image the front view and the back view was succeed uh, successfully generated however we have still lacking in the left and the right view angles but don't worry too much for that if you have a character grid you can just upload it here let's see for example this one try to bypass uh, this load second image and in the prompt section just add recreate the image one in four angles like in the image to click run and it will try to generate uh, the same uh, grid character using this first image okay so now let's try to see uh, how to use multiple uh, image input using this flux context the first prompt that we're gonna use is when we're gonna try to put a man from image one and a woman from image two in the same scene together standing close to each other and walking on the street here are the input and the output image those are characters that i created using flux context it were it was uh, generated using the style change to photorealistic then Using this prompt, I managed to get this results. You can see here on the left the final upscaled version using my workflow. And on the right, you can see the flux context uh, results. As you can see, it is very pixelated and the detail, of, especially the facial details, are not very clear. However, here we have a clear expression of the persons and it is very impressive. The characters are standing close to each other while walking on the street on the background we can say that this flux context can keep consistency using multiple images okay the other workflow that i'm gonna use is this one a young man that holds a candle from image 2 in his hand the man introduced the candle to the camera and only show only show man holding the blue candle from image 2 okay here are the images that i'm gonna use for this prompt as you can see we have this blue candle here with magnificent uh, metallic details and we have this uh, random picture of a man standing on the city. So using this prompt, we managed to obtain this results. As you can see, the man is holding perfectly the candle and uh, the details while it was preserved with the upscaling version, we have uh, more and better quality. However, you can see that the uh, image uh, resolution change, which uh, will take us to this image stitch here you can see that we have the direction and according to your direction you can obtain different results so it's up to you what you want to obtain uh, during the generation process you can set to right for this example i set uh, i set it to down and it give me this results so if i set it to right final image resolution change we will obtain a wider image compared to this one okay the next interesting thing that i used is the cloth swap and for that i'm gonna using this prompt where i said use the man from the first image replace his current outfit with the white t-shirt with palm trees from the second image keep his original pose facial expression and hairstyle however when i did that I clearly managed to face swap the man clothes, but I always obtained this weird results here where uh, we had the original t-shirt stuck in the image. So you can do some cropping if you want to do uh, uh, clothes swapping here. You will need to add a cropping notes in order for you to obtain only the uh, upper image. And that's practically everything that I want to show you for this ultimate workflow. 
as you can see we managed to obtain a good results using the fine tuning steps uh, with flux model then we obtain a good quality of image using the upscaling steps with stxl model so this workflow is very uh, useful if you want to generate or edit your images with good quality okay that's it for today tutorial if you like this video please push the like button for me uh, subscribe to my channel leave me some comments down below and don't forget uh, to become a patreon member for my uh, patreon page we also have this promo code here that will allows you to get access to uh, early access uh, workflow and also uh, you can ask me to build a custom workflow for your needs so don't uh, hesitate to reach me out on my patreon page and thank you